With WCIA TV uh, outside of Chicago, CBS, so this will be on the air. So please keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got your meaning. So swear and talk over each other. <laughs> exactly right. You, okay, yeah. not, your, not your first rodeo. That's good. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm talking to Jay Baruchel and uh, Glenn Howerton about their great new film, Blackberry. Gentlemen, first I want to say thank you for making a movie that doesn't have a superhero or aliens in it. Uh, it was so refreshing to see something so smart and so adult and so surprising. I mean, I did not know this story at all, and I think that's going to be the secret to the success of this film. Because for me, it was just a, a movie of discovery all the way through it. I'm assuming that that was part of a big reason why you guys jumped on board this. Yeah. Um, well, so uh, for for me, by, by the way, thank you for saying that. Um, for me, it started with being a fan of our director, Matt Johnson, since his first film, The Dirties, um, and then developing a sort of friendship uh, with him in Toronto, uh, just a lot of sort of inhabit the same kind of Toronto movie ecosystem. Um, but then he and Matt Miller wrote a spectacular screenplay, uh, and I am someone who, you know, lives in Canada, and most of this story was unknown to me. You know, uh, and so it's just a what a what a ride, you know, to read. And and I knew that if we did half of this, uh, we'd have a we'd have a great movie in our hands. No, I mean, I ditto. Uh, the, the script was just phenomenal. I mean, every every single element that you, you you hope when you do something like this, that that one or two of the most crucial elements are in place uh, in the hopes that maybe a great movie can come out at the end. Uh, you know, and you're really lucky when you're in a situation where you're like, oh, every single element uh, is working for me up front. So you just feel like you have a, a higher probability of making a great film. Yeah, I'm always fascinated by these true stories or based on true stories as films put them. And when you, when actors play real life people, I know, Mr. Howard, you had not met Jim uh, Balsilli until after the film, and I know that you were going to meet him. How did that go? I was, it was cool. I mean, I, you know, it's a little a little nerve wracking going in, just the sort of like knowing that it was going to happen, and the the kind of like the anticipation of what's he going to be like, what's his reaction going to be? Is he going to punch me in the face? Is he going to be happy? I you know just no idea. Uh, but he was he was lovely. Uh, the our interaction was we didn't we didn't, really didn't talk much about the movie. Um, I mean, we talked a little bit about how people are responding very positively to the film and how, how you know, people seem to be responding to his character. Uh, and, uh, you know, but the rest of it, we just kind of chatted about other things. And he was uh, he was very charming and uh, quite lovely. Mr. Burchell, did you meet Mike uh, Lazaridis before or after or did you just uh, go on your own on this? I, I, I didn't. Still haven't met him. Um, we heard tell that he's aware the movie exists, but he doesn't seem all too fussed about it one way or the other. <laughs> um, uh, no, but I didn't. I would. I but I also wouldn't say I went on my own because uh, you know uh, MJ, our, our director, who and and who also co-wrote the screenplay, um, he he did so much of that work already before I showed up. And he he wrote a beautiful script filled with vivid, fleshed out characters. And so between the document that he helped create and the laboratory he created on set and the spectacular, like, honest to God vision and voice that he had, you know, it was anything that works on screen was found somewhere in those coordinates. You know, you guys are getting a lot of great buzz and deservedly so for this. Uh, and this is the type of sleeper type movie we need right now. Like I say at Thanks. the beginning of this, an antidote for everything that is, uh, you know, inundating the multiplex. So again, uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap up. I could talk to you guys for hours about this, but thank, thank you. you, thank you so much for championing this film. And uh, I'll be uh, shouting its praises uh, as highly as I can. And thank you thank for your time. You. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Chuck. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Thank you. you. Thank Take you. Care.